Hey there, it's Shauna with Homegrown Self-Reliance. So today we're doing the Self-Reliance Skill of the Week, where we learn a new skill every week for the whole year of 2021. So today we're going to be making a Sage Oxymel. Oxymels, if you're not familiar with them, they're a traditional herbal preparation and it basically uses vinegar, honey, and whatever herbs you choose to put in it. So this is really, really customizable. You can make it however you want to. So uh, let's get started. It's actually really quick too. So the, the actual hardest part about this is the waiting. Um, it takes about two weeks for, for your oxymel to be ready. So today we're gonna use sage. Uh, also known as Salva officinalis. It's in the mint family. This is a wonderful herb. It fights colds, flus, fevers, coughs. Um, if you've got a sore throat, this will help kick it out of the park. <laughs> it's antibacterial, antiseptic, antifungal, antispasmodic. It's an expectorant, which means it helps get the gunk out of your lungs when you have um, a bad cold or cough. It's also uh, a diuretic, and it will actually help produce, produce more sweat so that you can get rid of a fever more naturally. So it's really good stuff. Uh, it also soothes muc mucous membranes, helps control coughs. You shouldn't use it if you are pregnant or nursing though, so please be aware of that. So I just heated up this honey just a little bit in some warm water just to make it easier to pour. So we're going to do almost a half and half ratio. Really, you can do this however you want. The honey is a great, um, it's a great heal healer in itself. Make sure it's raw honey. And it actually um, has its own preservative properties. So this is gonna help it make, make it last longer, as well as add that sweetness and add the other benefits of the raw honey. If you use local honey, you might find it actually helps with allergies as well. So we're just gonna cover all the herbs with the honey. And then we're going to use organic apple cider vinegar, raw, unfiltered. You want the mother in it. If you're not familiar with the mother, the mother in vinegar is kind of cloudy looking stuff in the bottom of it. That's the, the beneficial, the good stuff. And that is basically it. Um, again, I'm just using an old sauce jar and the vinegar can really corrode metal lids. So if, if you have a plastic lid, use it. If you just have a metal lid, just put some wax paper on there first and then secure your lid. Give it a good shake. That's how it looks. And we're just gonna set this in a cool location, preferably dark, for about two weeks. You wanna try to shake it daily though, or at least as often as you can remember. And uh, vinegar pulls out the medicinal qualities of the herbs, um, but it doesn't do it quite as well as alcohol. So it's not gonna be as strong as a tincture. But of course, if you are hesitant on using alcohol because it's for a child, or if you have a difficult relationship with alcohol, uh, an oxymel is a really good option. It also tastes better. So you might even be able to get your kids to take it. <laughs> so 
Sorry, my grandson's making noise. Um, but you'll want to take um, about two tablespoons of this up to five times a day when you're feeling sick. So when you have a cough, cold, sore throat, that sort of thing, take a couple tablespoons a few times a day. Uh, this is going to help boost your immune system, help get rid of fevers, calm that cough. It's just really good stuff. Uh, you can add any other herbs you want to. You can do a combination of this. I actually was going to do um, some mullen with this, but I couldn't find any that I could gather that was far enough from the road. Um, so really you can use whatever kind of herbs you want and um, whatever herbs you think will help you best. This is a little bit of intu intuition on the herbs that you want to use, and it's also a little bit of knowledge. I do have a blog post that talks about the herbal actions that um, the different herbs have. You might want to go check that out. I'll put that that link in the in the description. And uh, yeah, I, maybe you'll have some fun with it. I love making herbal preparations. This one is one of the easiest ones. That's pretty cheap too. Um, so, have you ever made an oxymel? Let us know in the comments. What's your favorite combination? If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe and hit those notification bell. See you next week.